Hey everyone, Megan here. I just thought I would do a little bit of diamond painting with you guys this evening. Um, I'm working on my five piece mural. Um, I've got, after I finish this little section right here, I believe I'll be about halfway done with it. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna start with Q. Because I noticed um, a lot of it. I'm going to be using the three drill tip as well as my single. And I have my little book light here as well so that I can look under it to see any imperfections. Um, I'm just going to quickly. There's one like half bead in there. Uh oh. I might need to redo my wax on my single. And then after I do um, the light, the overhead light test, I do the under light test. Just quickly, just to sort of check it out a little bit. I've been also noticing a lot of little like pieces that are going to um, like the extra parts on the drills that are going to probably impact the way that the other ones fit next to it. So I take those out as well and I put them in my little, my little dish here. So I'm trying out my camera instead of my phone. So we'll see how this video turns out. I'm still working on it, so if it's good enough to post on YouTube but it's not great, bear with me, okay? Because I'm just working on it. If it's not close enough, I have a, a better lens I can use as well. So I went to my parents' house for dinner tonight. They live only about three miles from me, which is nice. <laughs> um, and I kind of talked to my mom about diamond painting. And I um, sort of told her about the five-piece mural that I'm making for her. I didn't tell her what it was, um, but I did prepare her that she's going to want to hang it up somewhere because it's going to be absolutely beautiful and amazing. And I don't think she has any idea what in the heck it could be. And I don't know if you guys have seen my previous video about the John Wayne um, diamond painting. But I also told my mom about that. I did tell her that it was a John Wayne painting for my dad. So I told her that she was going to have to hang it up somewhere inside. And when I first said I'm making a diamond painting for my, for my dad, she said, Oh God, is it a Charlie Brown one? <laughs> because he loves Charlie Brown and I usually get him Charlie Brown knickknacks and stuff. Um... <laughs> And so I said, no, and she said, okay, well, what is it? Can you tell me? And I said, yeah, I can tell you. So I said, it's John Wayne. And she said, oh, that's okay. And I was kind of surprised by that. Um, but I did notice that he has a John Wayne um, picture in the, his basement and he has a John Wayne picture in his garage with, and I believe it has an American flag in the background, just like the one I chose. So, I guess I know him well, since I got practically the same thing for him in a diamond painting. Um, but the diamond painting is going to obviously be much, much cooler than just a picture. <laughs> I really, really am enjoying the effect of the diamond painting, um, the finished product. I put them up on the wall across from me, like, so I can see them from a distance. 
and I'm really enjoying seeing them finished. I think it's really nice to be able to see and enjoy them before I just stash them away in a box or something. So I'm really liking the finished product a lot. So I'm using this three this three drill tip right now. But I'm being very cautious with it because I find that if I move too quickly, I, I, I don't pay attention as much. And then my drills end up a little bit wonky. So I am going back each time to like fix them just because I want to nip it in the bud right away. I don't want to have to worry about it later. A problem that I notice that I do personally, and I don't, I think this is user error, is I will, um, I'll stick them like way as far as close to like this bottom as possible, and then there's space up here because I put them so far down, and if I do that all the way up, then I, then there becomes a space. So like with this long line or whatever. Um, and then I notice that there's like seams and that's why is because I'm giving too much space, which is kind of funny to me because, you know, you think, well, you should stick them next to each other as close as they can go, but then you have a lot of extra gaps in your finished product, but that's probably just my problem. So, I'm trying to give these little guys some space to shine. I'm not fussing about it if I don't get them on the pen really close together. Because I know that when I, f when I click all these in, they're going to get smushed together anyway. Although I am a little bit nervous because the first square diamond painting I ever did is hanging up on the wall across from me right now. And some of the drills are popping out. And they have been ever since it was finished. So I've had to like crazy glue them back on. And I don't know if anyone else has problems with their diamonds like coming off of their glue but I f so if if there that is a problem then I guess I should um, fix it somehow but it might just be me because what I think happened since it was my first one I think I was I put them like really super 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 tight together and what I think is happening is I think they're just pushing each other too hard and they're pushing themselves up. That's what I think is happening. Now I don't know if that's like legit or not, but I have a feeling that it was my fault. Because I haven't heard anyone else complain about their finished square projects. I love the effect they have. And it's only on that one that they're popping off of. So either it's faulty glue, or I just squished them on there too tight. And um, they're pushing off. So we'll have to see. Yeah, this wax on this drill pen is going to have to be replaced pretty soon. Oops. I can feel it. I can feel it. You know what I'm talking about. If you're a, a deep here, you know what I'm talking about. Am I right? I think I'm right. Oops. See, I just went without it. My gosh. 
Has anyone tried that, um, that blue, like, pick-me-up pen or whatever it's called? It has, like, a blue handle on it, and you, like, twist the sticky stuff up. So it's like a thicker pen, and you twist the back of it up. I wonder if anyone else has tried that. I saw a video of someone, like, trying out different tools and seeing what they like. And that one looks interesting, but... I don't know if the bottom would be comfortable to hang on to because that's where the screw part is that you would um, screw the the sticky stuff, the tacky stuff, wax, whatever you want to call it, um, up with. It's like a, like a chapstick almost, but it's near the tip. So I wasn't sure if that was something that I would like to hang on to forever because, you know, to do this craft you have to hang on to the to the pen, obviously. So I want it to be comfortable. So I'm not sure, but. Just a few more. So I did not, these ones are on the edge right here. If I can help, if I can do the single, the single drill tip on the edges, I do so because I like to line them up straight myself and I don't want a tool getting in the way. You know, I don't want the multi drill tip because the edge is important. So I like to do that freehand on my own. So I know that they're going to be straight. I love that click. Don't you love that click? Did you hear that? So I tend to use um, whatever color um, is next in my tower of jars. So I think I'll go with ends next because I see a lot of ends um, near the cues and they're in my jar so I'll just use those. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Do the above light test and ooh, I'm going to use my tweezers for that one and this one I'm getting a lot of trash in these drills especially in my elephant work in progress I've been getting a lot of trash in those drills it's really a bummer you get like I feel like you get kind of like the bottom of the barrel or something you know all right I just want to make sure whoa that you guys are seeing all that you need to see here all right okay okay I've got a couple of the three years I can do so um, I'm also working on my lap right now this is my lap desk and this painting is like a perfect size to work on your lap with. Um, my other work in progress, my elephant is a 60 by 80 I believe and it is pretty big and kind of, mm, how do I put it, it's a little bit um, bulky to work on my lap with even though I use a noodle to um, roll it up roll up what I'm not working on but it's still a little cumbersome on the lap desk um, I don't use my I don't velcro my tools to the sides um, sometimes if I'm like deep into it like in the middle of it 
because I can't because they get covered all the time. So it, it wouldn't there wouldn't be a point. <laughs> the point is to have them for easy access and if they're covered up, you know, that's not exactly easy access. So especially to put them away, like to stick them back on the Velcro. Um, if you haven't seen that video yet, you can go to my channel and look for it. It's I think I called it uh, no, it was one with my lap desk, like an update on my lap desk. I can't remember what I named it though. But I show you my setup and everything. It's kind of frustrating actually to work on the bigger ones, like in the middle, because you can't like reach them like you can with the smaller ones, you know? So I'm still trying to wrap my head around how I'm going to do that. But we shall see. I just worry about leaning on the drills too much because um, I don't want the drills to move around. And if I'm leaning on them all the time, I think I'll like push them around and stuff and I don't want to do that. All right. Those are the ends, so I'm going to put them back in here. Just a tap, tap, tap on the edge. All right, what else can I do in this tower? Anything convenient? I got, do I have any P's? Nope. Q I did. R. I have one R. So what I do is I unscrew my jar here, and then I just take one out right there. I don't even pour it onto my tray. I just pour, I just stick my pen in and I grab one, I go fishing and I come back out. All right, are there any L's? Yes, I do see. I see a handful of L's, but I don't know how many there actually are. So I will pour them because I don't know how many there actually are in there. Alright, so gotta take out the yucky ones. <laughs> under light test. The under light, putting it on this light pad helps you to see through the, tra the um, tray and the drills so that you can tell which ones are too thin. Because um, if you notice, sometimes you get really thin drills, and they're actually, ooh, like this one is a great example of that. This one actually wasn't too thin, but the, un the bottom of it is like concave. It's like indented there. So really the only points that are going to stick to the canvas are the corners and like the edges. And that won't, I feel like that won't stay very long. So I don't want to use that one. I try to catch those, but I know there's some I, ha I don't catch. Sometimes they can be hard to find. Okay, there's a lot more L's than I thought there was. Now that I'm really looking at it. These letters can get, these symbols and letters can get tricky to look at because the Y's and the X's and the K's um, all start to sort of look the same and so it gets a little tricky to seek them out. There was one time I put a, I was doing these so fast and I think I was doing X's and I accidentally put it on a K but I didn't realize it until like two drills later and I was like wait a second I don't think that one was an X. So I went back and sure as shit, it wasn't an X. It was like a K or something. I just was moving so fast. And I'm glad I went back. Not that I think it would have been a huge deal with this painting, but still you got to move as fast as your hand or your brain wants to, you know. 
My hand was moving too fast. All right, I think. I think I'm done with the L's. Now, the tricky part about doing it um, continentally like this, where I'm staying in one spot and I'm taking out the colors as I go, is that sometimes I notice that I miss one or two of that symbol. And that's not the end of the world or anything, but it is kind of a pain. Um, but I guess you could miss them if you did it um, cross country too. Um, but, you know, I just do the fishing method if I do miss one or two. And the fishing method is the, um, you know, going into the jar with your pen and grabbing one out. That's, that's what I call the fishing method. Going fishing. Speaking of going fishing, go fish. Did anyone else, when they were little and you used to play go fish, did you, did anyone else think it was called goldfish? Like the cracker? Because that's what I thought it was growing up. I thought that game was called goldfish. So I never understood like how you, you know, you go fish for another card. I never put that together until I got older. Is that weird? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I do things kind of backwards usually because I'm left-handed. Um, I do a lot of things backwards that right-handers don't do. Um, my mom, my whole family is right-handed. I don't know where it came from. Um, but my mom, whenever I help her cook and I'm like stirring something for a long time, she always like cringes and I go, what? And she goes, you make it look so hard. <laughs> Because I'm using my left hand, it just looks weird to her. So she thinks that, you know, it looks hard for me to do it. It's like it's so difficult. I'm like, Mom, no, I'm just... I'm just, you know, stirring away. She's like, yeah, but you make it look so much harder than it should be. And I just say, well... Then you stir. <laughs> No, she's funny. She's a funny lady, that mama. All right, so what I'm doing now with these, um, I'm doing these numbers, the number sign or the hashtag, if you will, um, is I, I'm with my single drill tip right now, and I'm going through and just like making sections of three come out so I can use my drill pen my three drill tip pen in a minute um, it depends on which pen I have in my hand when I start a color and that depends that um, 